Hey guys, it's your girl Brianna. Welcome back if you've been here before. This is your first time. You'll find something that will help you on your spiritual or your mental health journey. And when I say spiritual, I mean with the Lord, okay? So this word is all about joy. It's all about peace. It's literally about the sacrifices that you've made, the fasting that you've done. And if you haven't gotten into this space where you've committed these things to God and you're deep in your journey, then I'm believing that this word is for those of you who are willing, who have a heart that is willing to serve the Lord and he's going to honor that and he's going to take whatever you give him and he's going to multiply it. So I'm going to be reading from Isaiah 61, 2 and 3. So he has sent me to tell those who mourn that the time of the Lord's favor has come, and with it, the day of God's anger against their enemies. This is three. To all who mourn in Israel, he will give a crown of beauty for ashes, a joyous blessing instead of mourning, festive praise instead of despair. In their righteousness, they will be like great oaks that the Lord has planted for his own glory. So, through that, again, that's Isaiah 61, 2 and 3. And it's literally talking about trading in our pain for joy. And for a lot of you, God is that light at the end of your tunnel. Whether your tunnel is filled with depression or shame or unforgiveness or trauma or pain or doubt, insecurity, fear, a party lifestyle, like whatever that tunnel is for you that you're asking God to pretty much deliver you from and to bring you through and to be your light on the other other side of the tunnel that's what this word is confirming and for those of you who have like made it through the tunnel this is just confirmation that the Lord you're in a space where you cannot cry any longer about the former things that once had you bound or had you sad or had your emotions like fluctuating to where how you felt how you felt about God would cause you to fluctuate but in this season you're not in a space where you can so easily be brought to tears you're not in a space where your trauma or the things of the past that used to haunt you or like just really trouble you like and with all like sorry there's construction going on right now but with all rights to how you felt with you should have felt sad about being raped you should have felt sad about someone being murdered you should have felt sad about all of these things that you were holding on to but you've been in a space where you've been healing you've been through the fasting that you've been through the praying you've been through crying out to god so many nights of you crying and that's not to say that tears will not come but those things that used to have like with the quickness you think about something and tears just start falling or you start thinking about the victim side of things of like oh why did this happen to me or what is it like you're on the flip side of that you're finding out how to rise in it how to rise in your righteousness and that's what this word is all about it's the fact that there are no more tears this season the lord is drying our tears um from the former things that like held us captive and that is why he talks about his favor coming and I just think it's beautiful because literally there's no more tears in this season. You will no longer cry over the things that used to bring you to tears in this season. And that is a fact. All of these things you're going to be blessed instead of crying about the things or crying for the blessing or begging for the blessing or yearning for the blessing like now it's going to be given to you it's it's here it's now that you're going to receive these things and i just wanted to share this with you guys because it's something that's been unfolding in my own life and after coming from where i came from from depression and trauma and years of healing and of course still healing but I've really hit a breakthrough point and I wanted to share this with you guys because there is a space you will get to a point where you're not crying over the old things like you're not crying over 
what hasn't been done or what you're longing for, what your soul needs, you're going to get to a space where God has completely filled you up. He's filled your cup. He is enough for you. You love him. You're his bride. Um, he's your groom. You're going to get to that space where God truly is enough and he will overpower all of those areas that the enemy has had his hand on. And I just am thankful for this word. Thank you, Lord, for this word. And I just pray that it reaches whoever it needs to reach and that you would receive it in abundance. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.